Now in the last video we saw that uh, when we earn interest more than once during the year we're actually ending up earning interest or earning more interest during that year and it made a little bit of sense because our interest is earning interest sooner in the year. So when I start earning interest after six months biannually, that little bit of interest that I earned during those first six months earned a little bit of interest itself for the rest of the year. So I made a little bit of extra money. Okay. Now um, what it also what we also saw was the more times I earn interest, the more interest I earn during that year. So that if I earn it monthly in the previous scenarios, that's when I was earning the most interest. Okay, so um, just to quickly recap, we invested 100 Rand at 12% per annum. If it was compounded um, annually, we earned 12 Rand for that year. When we were earning it biannually, we earned 12 Rand and 36 cents. When we were earning it two monthly for that whole year, we earned 12 and 62 cents. And when we earned it monthly, we earned 12 Rand and 68 cents. If you uh, don't recall, go and watch that video again so that you can catch up. But now we're going to look at nominal versus effective interest rate. Now this quoted interest rate, that 12% per annum, that is called the nominal interest rate. Nominal. Now the word nominal means that it is stated or it's what is expressed but it's not necessarily the real interest rate that was earned. Okay, So it's the stated interest rate. So let's call the nominal is the stated interest rate. But now we see something a bit curious. In these scenarios we're not just earning 12% interest per year. It is not just 12% per annum. The nominal rate and what actually happens is different. Okay, I'm earning more than the nominal rate. To be exact, in this example, I'm earning 12,36% interest per year. In this example, I'm earning 12,62% interest. And in this one, 12,68%. Now this rate that I'm actually earning, the actual rate is called the effective interest rate. Actually we're earning the effective interest rate. Okay, so just to recap, the nominal interest rate is the stated rate. The stated rate. So that's the rate I'll read in my question. The effective interest rate is the actual rate. What I actually earn in a year. Now very often they are going to ask you to calculate the effective interest rate. And this example that we've just done gave us a means to do so. All I need to do is ask the following question. What will happen to 100 Rand in one year? What will happen to 100 Rand in one year? The answer you get will give you the effective interest rate. Let me show you one example. What is the effective interest rate for 8% per annum compounded quarterly? Even if they told me I was investing 100,000 Rand or 50 Rand or it doesn't matter how much they are telling me to invest, if they are asking me to calculate the effective interest rate, I am simply going to ask this question. What will happen to 100 Rand in one year. Even if the question tells me it's invested for 50 years, I am simply asking what will happen to 100 Rand in one year. That is the question I need to answer to calculate the effective interest rate. Which means I am simply using my future value is equal to my present value multiplied by my interest 
over a certain time period. So my future value is what I want to calculate. My present value is the 100 Rand because I'm asking what will happen to 100 Rand. My interest rate is the 8% but I'm not earning 8% interest each time I earn interest. I'm earning 8% compounded quarterly. This is the annual interest rate. I want the quarterly interest rate because that's how much interest I'm going to earn. Okay, so I am earning 2% because quarterly means I get it four times in a year. Four times in a year means I need to divide 8 with 4 and I'll earn 2% every time I earn interest. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 that's four twos will give me my eight. So 2% interest, how many times am I earning it? I'm earning it four times. So let's calculate. What will be the future value of this 100 Rand? Okay, what will actually happen at the end of one year? 0, 0,02 to the power of four. We calculate it. Okay, 100 times 1.02 to the power of four. Okay, there we see 108.24. 108,24. So instead of just earning 8 Rand on the 100 Rand, there it is, the 100 Rand, I'm earning 8 Rand and 24 cents. Now that gives you an indication that the effective interest rate, the effective interest rate is 8,24%. Okay, I hope you find that very easy. I think it's not too bad. Good luck.